Okay, so here we are for value scale number four. This is just like value scale two, the same um, type of lines. So I'm going to, I'm actually gonna draw my columns this time in pen, just cause it might be easier for you to see. And I, I didn't do that in the last one. And so I thought I would do something a little different. So this is gonna be value scale four. So now I need to add my, my rows. If you do it in pen and the pen is, uh, has a lot of ink coming out, when you drag the ruler across, it may drag some of that ink with it. So just be aware that it may do that. You may just wanna use a, a ballpoint pen that doesn't have a lot of ink that comes out, like a fine tip or something like that. Okay. Last one. Excuse me. Okay, so I've got my rows. Again, I'm gonna use my green pencil because I used my green pencil in value scale three. Um, and this one is going to be a side of pencil. Actually side of color pencil, but it's still side of the pencil. And then stippling. And both of these are gonna be my green color. I wouldn't be able to do the side of the pencil because my color, my color pencil right now is really dull. Uh, my stippling, actually, this would be really good for that. Again, it's going to be very loud. I actually made a, a little dash there and I didn't mean to. Color pencil, it's a little more harder to do to make a dot. Sometimes you do end up making a dash. You just have to try to make an intentional dot. You may have to dot in the same area. So it may be louder than the last time. But the same thing, you're gonna stipple until you fill that up really uh, full and then you're gonna get lighter as you go. The same as your side of the pencil you're gonna use, side of the color pencil. Um, remember your smoothing techniques, you go the other direction. Uh, as you noticed on here when I did uh, value scale two, I had, I had something underneath the table that kind of uh, came through in the paper, so uh, you had to smooth that out. Uh, plus, you could see some of the lines of where the pencil line connected, and I don't want to see that either. So we're, we're moving past um, coloring like middle schoolers. So, so to smooth that out, remember you go the different direction. Like I said, I didn't sharpen my pencil here, so it's, uh, it's a little bit more difficult to do because it's not as sharp. But if you have a sharpened one, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be as hard. And you may have to rotate your paper as you go, but... Now, color pencil, you have to be really careful because color pencil is hard to erase. Sometimes it does erase, um, and sometimes it doesn't. Now, if you decide to use a yellow as your color pencil, um, it, it's not gonna show up as bright. So just be aware of that when you're choosing your colors. So here we are for value scales three and four. You're gonna have uh, what we did for the, um, for the first five, and then we have the other two that we added. And then I wanna show you an example, a student example here. Um, this is from a student from last year. Um, they did straight lines, contour lines, and they did really well on this. Now they got a little sloppy towards the end here um, and towards the bottom, but uh, they, did, they did fairly well. They could have filled in their stippling area a little bit more. They got points off for that. Um, but this is a pretty good example of, of what I'm looking for here. And if you have any questions, uh, just email me or message me. I, um, this will be due Friday at 6 p.m. in the evening. I did change the time on you, so it's not midnight. It's earlier than that. Um, and um, 
then we're going to start a whole new set of work uh, next week. Now your lessons actually won't be posted until Tuesday, um, but I will have everything uh, ready to go for you. All right. Thank you.